the mother approaches a teenage male, probably her son from a previous litter. She snarls a warning at him. He welcomes the cubs with open arms. A pride male investigates. Their mother can so easily threaten him not to harm the cubs. Slowly, the cubs win him over. They play with him, almost teasing his conflicting emotions. The new cubs become part of the pride. Mothers, sisters, and older daughters all work together, feeding and guarding the cubs as they turn the Serengeti into their playground. Elephants sometimes kill cubs. Lions eat elephant calves, so feelings run deep. One mother alone could never have held off the herd. She and her sisters are fierce defenders of the cubs. But there are worse threats than elephants. If new lions want to start a family, adopting stepchildren is not an option. They defeat and kick out the pride fathers. Now they must kill the cubs and mate with the lionesses. If enough of the females have cubs, they may take on the new males. But lionesses without young are desperate to become mothers themselves. They need the new bloodline. The argument erupts in anger and frustration. If the females can't unite, there is nothing more they can do.
she'll have to try for new cubs with these killers. This is the price of living with males who can't hold on to power for more than a few years. Lionesses could learn something here from the elephants. Elephant mothers unite huge families and are strong enough to rule them. The matriarchs enable calves to have long, safe childhoods, a decade of learning. A birth is one of the most emotional times in a herd. After 22 months, the newborn arrives at 250 pounds. The enthusiastic greeting is like a collective hysteria. Some hours later, the calf is still surrounded, mostly by cousins and aunts wanting to help him up. His mother lets the over-enthusiastic relatives fuss over the calf. If all goes well, they'll share in the mothering. Such close ties around a baby are bound to cause friction. A male wants to mate with one of the calves' admirers, but of course, she's more interested in the baby. The bull gives the source of his frustrations a shove. The newborn then gets a foot in the face. The mothers close ranks around the baby, but again, the bull vents his anger. For an hour, he is kicked around like a football, as emotional animals feel frustration or protection. The bull is aware of what he's doing and knows just how far he can go. In the end, he gives up and the calf can finally follow the smell of milk to the source. A day or two later, one of his aunts touches him with her tail, lines up carefully, and wham! We don't know what made her kick the calf. There are bound to be jealousies around a new baby, yet her anger, too, seems controlled. A rational mind is helpful in coping with emotional moments, like having a newborn in the herd. All over the world, you can see animals wrestling with the feelings and choices that come with bringing up a baby. But perhaps we can see it best in primates.